Yo yo, it's the Culture Freak, back again with a favorite 10 video. I hope you're all doing great. I'm gonna show you my 10 favorite serial killer movies based on a true story. One of my favorite uh, kind of genre, well not my favorite, but one of the genres I really like. And uh, Let's start 10 place, Freewheel Killer, based on a true story of William Bonham, who picked this, uh, who picked this, uh, who picked the guys up uh, when he was at the freeway, of course, as it's as the name say. This movie is like watching a documentary. It's a really but low budget movie, and as with some of the low budget movies uh, about serial killers, uh, it's like watching a documentary. And I really like that uh, when it's about these movies. Then ninth place. This is a three pack. Uh, the Manson family, of course, we all know Charles Manson. Uh, yeah, man, again, uh, really, it's like watching a documentary. We really raw when you watch it. Uh, so nine plays Manson family. Then eight plays the lost uh, about one of the most youngest serial killers. Really a cool one. Uh, it's had an, a great ending. Really very intense when you watch the ending of this one. Then seven plays a gene. Of course we all know him. Later, uh, the movie Psycho and Texas Chainsaw Massacre were based on this one. Well, on on a Gene, uh, Kane Hodder plays it, plays a Gene in this movie, so that's cool. Michael Barham is, is in it. Uh, yeah, we all know a Gene. Uh, I think he only made two kills. So they say if you have less than three kills, you're not a serial killer. But uh, I had to put him in because they they think he made lots of more kills, but it's never proven. So uh, yeah. But we all know what he did, uh, uh, very awful things of course, but uh, yeah, j just a fun movie. Then 6th place, Dear Mr. Gacy, uh, really a cool one too, uh, about uh, Jason Jason Moss, uh, a guy who, who starts to write letters to all kinds of serial killers, all famous serial killers. But then uh, Gacy, John Wayne Gacy, start to react back with letters, and they uh, they start to write letters to each other. Then they started to have phone calls with each other. At the end, he visits him a few times. Uh, yeah, man, a true story. And uh, if if you don't know about this movie, uh, really check it out. You can check uh, the interview with the real guy on uh, YouTube. Uh, yeah, I really like this movie. It's really a crazy movie uh, in real life at the end. Uh, well, I'm not going to say much about it, so just watch it. Cause, uh, but really a cool movie. Of course, we all know John uh, Wayne Gacy. Uh, he killed lots of guys. I think he like more than 30 kills. Uh, he always dressed up as a pogo the clown uh, to pa children parties. So, yeah, really uh, an awful guy. Then, fifth place. Frozen Ground, one of my favorite uh, Nicolas Cage movies. John Cusick is in it, uh, Vanessa Hudgens. Really a cool movie, I think. Uh, uh, John Cusick plays the killer in it, really cool. Really does a great job. Uh, he plays the killer Robert Hansen. He killed at least uh, 17 guys. Uh, he, he, he liked to take, uh, how do you say it, prostitutes and women drugged them and then flew them with his private plane through a, a cottage in the outback in America I think or Canada I don't know uh, for sure but uh, and then he hunted on them so yeah man uh, again an awful story as all these stories are but really a cool movie if you haven't checked it uh, check the trailer uh, it's really a fun one G uh, good cast then four plays Zodiac awesome movie awesome cast really good thriller Again, based on a true story, of course, for the Zodiac Killer. We all know that sign, as you can see, the uh, the circle with the cross, that's the Zodiac sign. Uh, he always signed his letters with that sign, so that's why he got the name. Uh, yeah, man, uh, they say he cla they claimed like more than 30 kills, but they only could uh, claim him for like 4 or 5 kills. They never found him until this day. He's never got found, so uh, I, I don't know. That's strange, I guess. But uh, yeah, man, the Zodiac Killer. We all know him. Uh, uh, if you're interested in serial killers, great movie, great cast. So fourth place, third place, Wolf Creek. 
Uh, it's loosely based, I know it says based on true events, but if you read about it, it's loosely based on the backpack killer, Ivan Mallet in Australia. Uh, they got him for 7 kills, but uh, they think he, he made a lot more, <laughs> and if you think about it and you read about it, uh, it has to be more. Uh, but yeah, really a cool one. I love the Wolf Creek movies. Uh, first one, uh, yeah, it's just awesome. John Jarrett is awesome as Mick Taylor. Uh, really a cool movie, one of my favorite Australian movies. And at third place. Then second place, Monster. Uh, Charlie Theron is awesome in it. Uh, she plays Eileen uh, uh, Wurz, if you see it like that. Uh, yeah, man, just an awesome movie. Really great performance. Uh, she really deserved the Oscar for this one. Yeah, man, this, this movie is like having a... When you watch it, it's like getting kicked in the nuts, as they say. Uh, slept in the face, or how do you say it? Uh, I love this movie, man. From the first time I watched it, uh, she, she does such a great job. As uh, If you see this movie, uh, really an awesome movie in my second place. Then, first place... Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer, based on uh, Henry Lucas the Serial Killer, uh, and Otis O2. Uh, an awesome movie. Uh, again, this movie, when first time I watched it, I was in love with this movie. It's like it's made for $100,000 back in the days. Uh, they filmed it in less than a month or something like that. Uh, Michael Rooker is in it, as you can see. I love this movie, man. From f f from start to finish, uh, I love this movie. Again, it's like when when you watch this movie, it's like watching a documentary. And I do like that with these kind of movies, uh, that you're not watching a movie, but you're really watching. Yeah, the serial killer doesn't do what he does. So I really like that. I really like the cast. They all do a great job. Awesome movie. This is the 25th anniversary edition. You can only find this movie on DVD over here, but I'm very happy I found it. It's like a, with a documentary about the movie uh, that takes an hour. Cast is talking, producers, the, who made the movie, uh, director, uh, really an awesome movie, man. It's my favorite serial killer movie. Uh, it's just another movie that when you watch it, it's like a, a, a slap in the face, kick in the nuts. Uh, I don't know how you say it, but you know, uh, it's got a great vibe and uh, I love this movie, man. So guys, this was it. My 10 favorite serial kill movies based on a true story. I know there's lots of more movies, but you can't get them here, so yeah. So let me know, guys, what do you think about my list? Uh, and uh, do you have any favorites in this genre? And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing. And see you in the next one. Yo!